Ever wondered why INFJs, the rarest personality type, often have few friends? Could it be their unique traits or something more? Well, you're about to take an intriguing exploration into the fascinating world of INFJs and their friendships. We're going to look beyond the surface into the deep and complex layers of their personalities. So, get ready for an enlightening journey that will challenge what you think you know about friendships and introverts. Stay tuned as we journey into the world of INFJs and their friendships. INFJs, the rarest personality type, are known for their depth and complexity. This unique group, making up less than 2% of the population, is often misunderstood. INFJs are introverted by nature, preferring solitude or the company of a select few over large social gatherings. Their intuition is their guiding light, helping them understand the world around them in ways that others may not. Empathy is second nature to INFJs. They feel deeply and are often in tune with the emotions of those around them. They also have a desire for meaningful relationships, seeking connections that go beyond the surface level. They are drawn to authenticity and depth, often shunning superficial or shallow interactions. This doesn't mean they shy away from people, rather, they seek out those who resonate with their own inner complexity. With these unique traits, it's no wonder INFJs often have few friends. The first reason is that INFJs are highly selective in choosing friends. Now, this doesn't mean they're snobbish or aloof. Quite the contrary, it's a testament to their desire for quality over quantity in friendships. You see, INFJs are the type to seek out rich, profound connections, the kind of friendships that go beyond the surface level. They're not interested in small talk or casual acquaintances. Instead, they yearn for friends who they can share their deepest thoughts, fears, and dreams with. Being an INFJ means you're likely to hold your friendships to a high standard. You expect mutual respect, trust, and understanding. You're not one to waste time on relationships that are shallow or inauthentic. So, while it may seem that INFJs have fewer friends, it's actually because they're discerning in their choice of companions. Being selective isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just means INFJs prefer meaningful relationships over casual acquaintances. INFJs crave depth and authenticity in their interactions, which is our second reason. Rather than engaging in small talk or shallow banter, INFJs thirst for conversations that are meaningful and substantial. They yearn to dive into the heart of matters, to explore ideas, to understand the world and the people in it on a deeper level. This is not to say that INFJs are incapable of casual conversation, they simply find it unfulfilling. They prefer to connect on a level that transcends the mundane, to engage in discussions that challenge them intellectually and emotionally. This need for depth often means that INFJs may not have a wide circle of friends, they find it difficult to forge connections with those who prefer to stay on the surface of things. But the friendships they do form are usually profound and enduring. They connect deeply with those few who are able to meet them at their level of depth and authenticity. This depth-seeking nature often limits their circle of friends but enriches the friendships they do have. A high need for personal space is another reason why INFJs have few friends. Now personal space for INFJs isn't just physical distance. It's mental and emotional space too. Imagine a personal bubble, an oasis of tranquility where they can retreat, recharge, and reflect. INFJs being the introspective beings they are, thrive in this solitude. It's not that they don't enjoy company or social interactions, but rather, they need time alone to process their thoughts and emotions. But here's the catch, this need for solitude can sometimes be misinterpreted. Some people might mistake it for aloofness or indifference, when in reality, INFJs are just taking a mental health break. They value deep, meaningful connections, but they also value their personal space just as much. It's a delicate balance that they strive for. Their need for personal space may limit their friend count, but it ensures they maintain their emotional health. Misunderstandings and misjudgments often lead to INFJs having fewer friends. Now, this doesn't mean that INFJs are difficult to understand or that they're constantly misjudged. Rather, it's the depth and complexity of their personalities that can lead to these misunderstandings. Think about it. INFJs are known for their rich, inner worlds. They have a profound sense of intuition and are deeply empathetic. These traits, while beautiful, can sometimes be misunderstood by others. For instance, their intuitive nature may come across as aloofness. Their empathy may be mistaken for oversensitivity, and their need for meaningful connections may be perceived as being too demanding. These misinterpretations can cause potential friends to drift away, leaving INFJs with a smaller circle. But here's the thing. While these misunderstandings can be challenging, they also serve a purpose. 
they help INFJs weed out inauthentic relationships, leaving them with friendships that are deep, meaningful, and true. While misunderstandings can be challenging, they also help INFJs weed out inauthentic relationships. Let's look at the remaining reasons, high standards, emotional intensity, fear of vulnerability, and their future-oriented mindset. Firstly, INFJs naturally gravitate towards high standards. This isn't about being snobbish or superior, but rather about seeking genuine connections. They crave depth and substance in their relationships, and won't settle for less. So, while this might limit the quantity of their friendships, it undoubtedly enhances the quality. Secondly, INFJs are emotionally intense individuals. Their hearts are deep oceans of emotions, often misunderstood by those who prefer to wade in the shallow waters. This intensity might be intimidating for some, leading to fewer friendships. But remember, when an INFJ connects with you, they are sharing a piece of their soul, and that's a bond that's hard to break. Now let's talk about vulnerability. INFJs, despite their emotional depth, often fear opening up. They worry about being misunderstood or judged. This fear can lead them to build walls around themselves, limiting their social circle. But when an INFJ lets you in, know that it's a sign of immense trust. Lastly, their future-oriented mindset. INFJs are dreamers, always thinking about the potential of what could be. They're less interested in the mundane details of the present, which can make them seem distant or aloof. But in truth, they're just lost in a world of possibilities. This might make it harder for them to form many friendships, but those who stick around will find a companion in dreaming big. So these are the last four reasons. High standards, emotional intensity, a fear of vulnerability, and a future-oriented mindset. These characteristics might limit the number of friends an INFJ has, but they also ensure that those friendships are profound, authentic, and truly meaningful. These reasons, while limiting their friend count, ensure that the friendships INFJs do have are meaningful and authentic. So, while INFJs may have few friends, the friendships they do have are deep and meaningful. We've walked through the eight reasons why INFJs might not have a large circle of friends, but let's remember, it's not always about the numbers. INFJs are selective in choosing friends, valuing depth over surface-level interactions. They prefer to invest their time and energy into a few meaningful relationships, rather than spreading themselves thin across numerous shallow connections. And that's not a bad thing. It's a testament to their authenticity and desire for genuine connections. They also have a strong need for personal space, which can often be misunderstood. But let's not forget, solitude is not loneliness. It's a time for INFJs to recharge and introspect, to be their authentic selves. Their ability to enjoy their own company is a strength, not a weakness. Misunderstandings and misjudgments can indeed pose challenges for INFJs. But it's crucial to remember that their unique qualities make them the empathetic, insightful individuals they are. They see the world differently, and that's something to be celebrated, not misunderstood. In the end, it's all about embracing who you are and understanding that your approach to friendships is just different, not wrong. As an INFJ, remember that your deep, meaningful relationships are a reflection of your depth as a person. Cherish them, nurture them, and most importantly, be proud of them. So, here's a word of wisdom for all the INFJs out there. Be proud of who you are, and never compromise on your authenticity for the sake of fitting in. And to those who know and love INFJs, understand their need for solitude, appreciate their depth, and most importantly, value their authenticity. Remember, it's not about the quantity of friends but the quality. Now what are your thoughts? Do you relate to this as an INFJ or know someone who does? We'd love to hear from you. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content about personality types. See you in the next video.